Hello everyone, my name is Prashant and today I am going to talk something about out of memory or popular known as Zoom. Uh, some of you might have faced this issue related to the out of memory and specifically if you are using a 30 bit system, that is one kind of a generic error because of the <coughs> splitting of the user space between a 3, uh, three gig of user space to the 1 gig of a kernel space where you have faced most of these kind of issues. So before going to dig mostly about like what is exactly out of memory, and how does it happen? Let's look at the basic definition. What is the out of memory? So uh, let's say I have a, I have started a new process, and it will ask for some out of memory to the kernel. And uh, let's say the kernel has all the memories been filled up, and whenever the, this process asks for some memory, kernel try to reclaim some of the memory. And uh, let's say the kernel is not able to reclaim the sufficient amount of memory because all the process are mapped or uh, that is the, all the amount of memory is currently being used by the system. So in that case, if the kernel was not able to reclaim the memory in a timely manner, uh, that is where the out of memory for um condition get triggered off. And it's still even after um by killing off some of the processes. What exactly the um will do? It will try to kill some of the process based on the badness value and try to reclaim some of the memory. And if the kernel was not still able to reclaim a sufficient amount of memory, the bad things will happen like the kernel panic or um, you will see the issue like a deadlocks and all those kind of issues. So what like I mentioned what uh, OOM will does it is a kind of a subsystem to kill one or more process to free up a memory so that the request uh, which is done by the on the process side is being satisfied. The one of the alternative approach you can do with the OOM or out of memory is like set out this parameter. So once you set out this parameter equal to 1, whenever your OOM happen or out of memory uh, triggers out, it will going to create a VM code for you if KDMP is configured, which is generally not been recommended in the kind of a production moment because generally when the uh, when a OOM subsystem kills the process, it will try to it will free up some of your memory. So in case of a non-production environment or in a test environment, if you are frequently facing this kind of a issue and you really want to debug like what is the process which is creating these kind of issues then your in your uh, test environment you can set out this parameter equal to 1 and uh, configure kdump along with this parameter it will generate a vm code for you and then with the help of a backtrace you will see like uh, where exactly the process is uh, taking up amount of memory or, or is it just some kind of a memory leak okay so like i mentioned to find out uh, which process kernel is going to kill kernel keeps on running something called a badness score uh, this score is been maintained inside a file called procpid um score and you can manually tune it um, with the help of some of the tunables or some of the parameters or some of the values so the the higher the score the more likely the process is off being killed by your um killer so let's say for my init process i can see the score over here which is at zero. Okay. So, like I mentioned, this is a badness score, and there are a lot of factors which take into account or take into consideration to calculate this value. Uh, we uh, we are going to see also like how can we uh, manually tune this value uh, to something called if we if we want some of the process to be immune or not to be killed by the um killer. Mm -hmm. So, some of the factors which take into consideration is like VM size or the virtual memory size. So, if your process is focusing on number of child or the cumulative sum of all those processes is also taken into account. Second one is the nice value. So, by default, we have a nice value like a priority of a process from minus 20 to 19. So, if the value is positive or higher, uh, it will going to increase your OOM score. Third one is the total runtime. So, if your runtime is high or longer the runtime, it will going to reduce your uh, OOM score. So, it is going to provide you a, some kind of a shield if a process is running on your system for some considerable amount of time. Uh, fourth one is your running user. So, if uh, if your process is running with something called a root uh, like privilege or for, from a root user, it got some sort of a protection. The last one, not the least, like I mentioned, you can tune this with the help of some of the uh, values. So, these are the values you can set. These are the value you can set between minus 17 to 15. Minus 17 means if you set minus 17 to some of the process, it will become immune. 
uh, the other value you can set is between minus 17 to 15. 15 means it will be the first process which has been killed by the ohm killer if there is a kind of some kind of a memory pressure. Also, the, all the kernel threads and the PID one, which is the init process, is been immune from the ohm killer because if in, uh, init process has been killed, it will create a deadlock or it will going to crash your whole system. So you can even manually set these value from between minus 17 to 15 to change the your badness score. We are going to see like how this is going to change and how it's going to affect our system. So let's look at the demo part. First, I'm going to show you like how whenever your system, like whenever the boom killer has been triggered, how your system looks like. Or generally, whenever the boom score, we are going to replicate this issue with the help of something called SysRQP or magical SysRQP, which I think some of you are aware of that. I also mentioned about the SysRQP or the system request key in my previous video. So if your system has got hung or it's been not responding to any kind of a signal, these are the key which is going to help you in those cases. So I'm going to pass echo F. F is will call um killer to kill a memory hog process. So if you, any of the process which is going to hogging of the memory, it is going to kill that process. So I run this command. It is going to generate some of these logs for me. So this is like uh, CentOS kernel out of memory kill process two two three one with a score of this. Okay. So you will see this kind of a error or this kind of a message in your messages file. Okay. And like I mentioned, you can manually even tune this values between minus 17 to 15. Uh, we are going to see with the help of the demo how uh, we are going to tune this value. But before uh, going to give you that kind of a demo, like how we can tune it, uh, like some of the things which we I want to uh, tell you, like like bottom line is like perhaps you will never face this kind of an issue regarding the ohm. But whenever you have faced any issue related to OOM, you need to ask some kind of a question like how much memory you want to allocate, okay? How much memory does OS allocate for you? And what is the basic reason why the OOMs get triggered off? So uh, means is the available memory which is present in your system is not suitable enough or is not enough to sustain the current load. And whenever, whenever I'm talking about memory, I'm talking about both your RAM as well as web. So uh, might be your workload is like uh, workload is the cause of the ohm killer. Other cases which I can tell like based on my experience that uh, ohms are in very rare cases ohms are related to any of the kernel bug, and virtually all of them are related to a user application which are behaving badly. And like I already mentioned, in a case of a 32-bit system. Uh, where you have a split between a 32 GB versus a 16 uh, versus a 1 GB of a kernel space, we will generally see this kind of an issue. So uh, let's look at some of the stuff which we are going to discuss. In the meanwhile, I'm booting my system. The other thing I can able to show you here. Okay, let's look at the demo part. So you will see this kind of error like out of memory kill process this is one this has been cal uh, this has been uh, calculated by ohm killer i i can also demo you one of the tool called dstat uh, through which you can see like at the current state what are the process which has been a highly high candidate of being killed by the ohm killer here you can see the score which has been calculated uh, total vm that is the virtual memory which has been used uh, generally, uh, Linux use an approach of called defer deferred paging. So, initially the virtual memory is, is being allocated to a process, but it has been not mapped to your present memory. Okay, so that's this. Okay, let me kill this. And let me start this session. Okay. So, 
and uh, I am also going to show you like how this deferred paging or how this is going to affect how these things are getting into picture so I'm sorry about that somehow my system is taking too much time to get loaded okay so I think this also needs some kind of a performance tuning okay so let's take one more session and generally whenever the system has been triggered with the out of memory killer or oom uh, the logs have been written in, inside your valid log messages so that, that is the first place where you are going to look at any kind of a error or issues uh, so i have one of the test program called memtest uh, where i am going to allocate some kind of a memory so let's say i am allocating 256 mb of uh, resident memory okay and this has been started with the id uh, pid of 2524 okay like i mentioned earlier if i need to make this process immune i am going to adjust this parameter okay and minus 17 is for immunity and passing it into side inside its 2524 that is the pid of this process and ohm underscore adjacent okay now let me start this process again okay the new process again i am going to allocate 26 mb of uh, resident memory okay but this time uh, what i am going to do is i am going to pass the eco 15 to this um underscore adjacent which means the other wall value which is the highest value it's going to modify my um score and it is the first candidate which is going to be killed in case of memory pressure okay so i just going to demo you like how this um killer looks when your system is running out of any of the memory okay so don't want to waste your time so echo this time i'm going to pass this value rock and it's called 2547 2547 2 underscore ADG. just one second just double confirm it first one is 2524 for whom I pass minus 70 and now this 2547 for whom I am passing 50 okay passing 15 okay. 2547 so now in case of memory pressure this will become the first candidate to be killed by the out of memory killer okay and here i am going to open my where log messages okay to see to show you how this own killer looks or how this is going to look what are the logs which is going to look and let's take one more duplicate session Okay. and now i'm going to allocate some big amount of memory to demo the um killer so let's say i'm going to allocate some this is like a really large set of memory so you will see that two five two four process which has been immune is not going to kill by the um killer uh, and this process two five four seven become the first candidate to be killed by the um killer and that process will be saved Okay. In between, this is happening. Okay, I am going to show you one more tool which will be helpful for you uh, in case of you need to find out at the current state what are the process which will become the first candidate to be killed by the out of memory killer. Because this is my virtual machine, I am running a bunch of a load. That's why the whole of the process will become like really really slow. I am repeating like a huge amount of memory so here you can see at the background that 2547 
which has been killed by the out of memory key. And even the parent process which I have started, even that has been killed. Okay, so 2547 has been killed and this is still running. So in this way, if you want to make your own process in immune, you can pass out this value and make the process, process immune. Okay, and if you look at this, 2524 is still running. Okay, and 2547 has been killed. So here you can see only the instance of 2524, not 2547, which is the second process we have we are running. Okay, so here you can see that the process has been killed. Okay, this GFP mask is called a is used to tell a page allocator which page can be allocated, whether the page allocation can wait for more uh, memory for more memory to be allocated, like GFP underscore wait and all those things GFP underscore IO, which I'm going to discuss about later in the memory management uh, advanced memory management section order and all those things uh, this is a stack trace how the own killer been called i already spoke about these zones like dma dma32 in the memory management section and i also told you like uh, what are the important things for example all underscore unreclaimable so whenever your uh, number of free pages goes beyond this minimum value this is the minimum value and whenever your free pages goes beyond this free value uh, the own killer will be get hit so these I call to be discussed. Okay. Last thing I want to show you a tool called DStat. So in the current state, if you want to see like what are the processes which has become the first candidate if is a out of memory process being triggered or out of memory out own mechanism got triggered what are the first process which is being killed by the out of memory killer then you can see with the help of this tool so this is a, just a small introduction uh, what is out of memory killer how it has been triggered how the badness score has been calculated how you can make your process to be immune by uh, passing that uh, um adjacent value to minus 17 and a little bit introduction to this stat so Thanks for watching this video. In case of any query and question, you can write it to me at laprashant.gmail.com. Thanks once again.